Hey everybody, Fantron here, and today we are going to be playing a really old, old Xbox 360 game, and I do mean old, but this game is predecessor to, well, chronologically anyway, predecessor to one of my favorite rare games of all fucking time. <laughs> Perfect fucking dark zero. Oh man, that entry. Anyway, it's been a long fucking time since I played this game. Um, wow, this is actually one of my first, well, one of the first games I played on the Xbox 360, as a matter of fact. And I was just like, oh my god, it's perfect dark. It's the, it's like, but it 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 wind up not being the perfect dark that I remember. Um. Anyway, there's a co-op mode, but I will not be doing... I don't think any of my friends still have this game. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't think anybody that I know has this game still. Uh, nah, probably not. But anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and take on the entire game on Secret Agent Difficulty, I'm guessing? See, I didn't even make it past Mission fucking 2. I wanted to take it on Agent Difficulty, because it gets pretty fucking rough. But uh, just for the sake of difficulty, I'm going to just do Secret Agent. Oh, wait. Like, Standard setting for moderately experienced agents, for novices and new recruits. Now, we gotta go ahead and do secret agent. We'll do the, the middle difficulty. Now, you get to choose your inventory, you know, your loadout, before you go ahead and go play, uh, which is pretty cool, but we don't really need to do that. So, let's go ahead and start the mission zero demolition. Um, now, I'm debating whether to just upload each mission in parts because um, some of these might take me a lot longer than others but mission zero isn't really all that fucking long so I'll probably do mission zero and mission one in this just in this one Watch yourself, Joe. but if I play this all You're in one go it's probably now. going to exhaust me to oh but they're talking about Undetected. It. Mega corporations don't take kindly to intruders. Security is tight. Cameras, laser tripwires. Nothing you can deal with, but I'm on hand just in case. Alrighty. Let's start with that spider bot up there. Sounds are off. What is it with those things? Got one. Uh, basically, Get this is getting you familiar with your X and Y axis stuff. But let's go ahead and uh, static crosshair. Toggle the expanding. Central circle of crosshair, no, no, uh, visual, brightness, uh, that stuff, audio, there's no subtitles option, is there? Uh, huh, aim sensitivity, that's as high it goes, wow, uh, Get going. oh boy. Anyway, this is pretty much the tutorial level. You don't necessarily... Well, you kind of have to. When you when you first get the game, this is the first mission you get, so... 
but this I needs to be, uh, was gonna be tight. in here. You're kidding. All this security oh, these are I forgot, that's, that's the thing. Whatever. Smash I'm so used to, like, to the okay, here's a, here's a new thing. Okay, are they gonna tell me? Roll, roll, roll! Okay, get the dodge and all that stuff, too. It's pretty nice. Dodging's great for avoiding enemy fire. They can't get a lock on you when you dive. You're coming up on a security camera. I broke its link to the main system, but it's smart enough to shut the door if it spies you. Nobody does it better. You're lying. You can always hide. Huh? I thought this route was secure. You want to take them out from cover? Yeah, it's pretty much showing you the mechanics of the game and how certain shit can and will work with or against you. So, sometimes it's good to maintain cover, uh, sometimes it's good to roll, be stealthy, you can get your gadgets. Alright, so you uh, get that white block onto the blue block. Now, I'm not moving this, unfortunately. So, you have to wait. Just a little minigame type of thing. It's not difficult. Security job. Now for the job. Our employer wanted you to deliver a package. It's a cam spy. Comes equipped with an electromagnetic pulse for busting electronics and half a K of cyclonite for busting everything else. Hit the trigger and it's instant fireworks. Oh yeah, but this is young Joanna Dark. Before uh Your job is to pilot the cam Elvis. spy down <laughs> and all them guys. But if you've never played Perfect Dark on this into 64, and then I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. It's like saying you never played Goldeneye. Like, you've had to play both. And that, I've had the privilege of playing both. <laughs> there was no way. I remember the time when we got it, you know, we had to get the expansion pack. I think it came with it, as a matter of fact. Either that or we got the... We had Donkey Kong 64 at around the time, so we had an expansion pack with that. But I remember my dad buying that shit at one point in time. And we had both. But those were the games that I had for Nintendo 64, mainly, that I tried to play. Well, not even try, I played those all the goddamn time. I fucking love Perfect Dark. This is the last one. Right. Have you done this before? Uh, maybe. I might have. You made it, Joe. The CPU is dead ahead. I'm arming your camera. Yeah, we don't want to hear it. Just blow it up. Man, but I haven't played Perfect Dark Zero in a minute. Which could present a problem, because Mission 1 actually gives me problems. <laughs> Mission 1 has, has been giving me some problems where I couldn't pass it because I'd Joe, fuck up. come in. Over. Damn it, Chandra. Knew I should have written those explosives myself. Hey, what's life for that little excitement? That explosion knocked the sense out of you, kid? Jack, Cora can't control Remember the these were cutting ed like cutting edge, like, cutting-edge graphics Get up back deck. in the day? We'll Remember that there. shit? <laughs> This was this was the shit right here, and I do have the uh, Perfect Dark uh, HD remake or what have you for uh, 360 as well. So we will be tackling that as well. Shoot over here! S Spider Bot's got me trapped. Get rid of him, and I can get us out of this place. Now here's the thing about this game that, like I'm saying, I'm gonna break this down the missions because it takes fucking forever. Like this game goes on for a long time. Phew. I don't know what so was worse. Want to see the arachnophobia to or the claustrophobia. You keep an eye out for any more of those suckers. I'll get the power back on. Okay, well, hurry up. Okay! Oh, time to get out of here! Elevators this way! Over here! Alright. And it's funny because I just finished uh, Arkham City or Arkham Asylum. Arkham City, Jesus. I wish I got that far. Alright, the support objective. It's not necessarily important, but it does help. Alright, well, come on, dude. Where are you going? Where's the elevator? Where? Forget oh. him, he's gone! We are leaving! Whoever's left, Dad? get the hell out of here! Oh, 
Come here, guns. No, that's not over here yet. Don't you bring your ass. Need your help over here. Come on, let's go, dude. Follow me. Time for an upgrade. There we go. Fans are showing gun lockers ahead. Got that upgrade. Anyway, we need to get through here. The yellow ones explode, so you want to be careful to not shoot the yellow ones around the scientists, because they will blow up and they will die. Would you move your ass? And they also have an instance of where they will sh themselves will shoot them, and it's just like, you, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Can we go? I think that scientist just got left. God damn it. Hurry up! What are you doing? Move! Come on. Come on. I'm thinking he's like glitched and he won't. Can we go, please? See, this is what I hate about this. I'll see me. Can we go? Please. I don't know what the hell that was about, but... Alright, well, we're gonna let those guys fight it out over there. Man, shit is in your fan. That's. That just sucks. Oh, I thought there were spider bots coming out through here. If not. I mean, that's pretty much what our main enemy is spider bots. Close the door. Close the damn door. They blow up my fucking. I deployed my sentry gun, but they blew it up. Come on, get my damn no. Come on. Can we go, please? In the elevator, kids. Come on, kids. In the elevator. All units, we have identified the bomber. Target has breached the north elevator. Don't uh, let her escape. That doesn't change our relationship, right, guys? You're not gonna turn around and shoot me, are you? Swarming with guards, Joe. Take them out from Goblin. All right, so now we got armed guards. Man, I'm gonna get the super dragon. The good old super dragon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot you get the whole... Man, there's, there's just so much shit that I forgot. Move, dude! Yeah, but, uh, you can hold your zoom. I like how he's getting tore up. That's awesome. I'm getting shot up, bro. Fuck out of here. Oh no shit, where do you think I'm going? What am I doing? Just holding my fucking thumbs? Just letting this shit go down? Uh, what was the alternate fire? There it is, okay. Oh, well, I thought that would work. It would work very well. Right, I'm gonna shoot this one. with an annoying asshole. There he is. Come on! No! Stop moving! You just sit still for like two seconds. Let 
You're making my accuracy go down, you dick. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Come on. There we go. It's nice, we spend a lot less time on cutscenes and shit than we're actually in the fucking mission. Beautiful. I miss mission based games like this. Cutscenes are usually before and after. Pretty much they talk to you throughout the game, so it's just like you get all the story and shit during the portions. But it's a simulation, and uh, Dana died. <laughs> If you aren't a veteran of Perfect Dark, then you have no idea why I'm laughing. But, uh, your life, our hands, oh boy. <laughs> Stuck out my stats. Oh, world's best. Yeesh. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next mission. Let's go do mission one. Okay, kid. Here's your chance to show me you're ready for a live op. Chandler just got off the wire. Word is some scientist named Ziegler has been snatched Dolph by a Ziegler? local triad gang. I've been monitoring their comms. They're trading this Ziegler guy to a bunch of suits on the mainland. Straight up cash deal for the kind of money I can only dream about. Good thing for Ziegler, he's got friends with deep pockets. Right, Chandra? He's got a private benefactor waiting to pay top dollar for his extraction. The plan is, Jack goes in and snatches him before they make the trade. While I'm inside, I need you to ID the enforcers that patrol the perimeter. Remember, that gun is for your protection. Stay out of sight. They can't shoot what they can't nope. see. Radio in if you need help. Jack, your call signs point forward. Joe, your dog zero. I'll be uh -huh, ready with the power boat for there. the getaway. One last thing. If the lead starts flying, I want both of you to get to safety. I can look after myself. Understood? Good. Suit up and move out. Call me on approach. All right. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jack. Uh, he's got that Barry Burton. He's got that Magnum. Anyway, there's a lot of uh, mission assignment stuff that we'll wind up seeing throughout these loading screens. These loading screens take quite a fucking long time. Anyway, that going down the ladder stuff. Very helpful. I have this distinct feeling that uh, ladders will become an important part of one mission. Or several. <laughs> oh, but this mission. No one can ever forget this mission. I remember me and my cousins would always play this shit. Like, shit, me and my family. Like, me and my brothers and my cousins would just play the shit out of this game. Love this damn game. And I think it was long, we played this alongside like Gears of War. Easy in, easy and I played Jack this more than Gears. I tried to play Gears and this game was hard for me. Bring us in close, Chandra. Dark Zero, this is point forward. I'm in. Dark Zero, in position. The club's owned by local gang lord Killian. It's a front for his real business. Gun I don't get it. Why, why they put the zoom in lot? Well, you know, Ziegler, it's right trigger, left trigger. Like the audio she knows. Scope and grab positive IDs off Killian's enforcers. Chandra will sell whatever intel you snag on the net. Stay out of the club. Use your gun only as a last resort. Keep your head down. Sure. Chandra, let's do this. Everything's in the green. Keep it that way, all right? Hit the ground running, kid. Stay safe. All right. So we gotta, we gotta play stealth here. All right. Uh, how do I crouch? Okay. Okay. Is this your idea of keeping out of trouble? Uh, I thought it was. Was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> And they'll constantly yell at you when you do shit. That's just like, they'll be like, what the fuck? Why did you have to shoot that guy? Oh, that, that song. <laughs> Magnus. Shout outs to Magnus again. <laughs> fuck it. Alright, um. Hold on, I need to get my binoculars out.
pretty sure that enforcer's in that courtyard area. We need to go back this way. Anyway, this is usually what the hard part of the mission is, is fucking getting to that enforcer without fucking getting caught. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that. There's a ladder up there, or a ladder to go up there. I don't see any guards, so. All right, see, look, ladders. <laughs> I think this is a safer bet. Okay. Alright, where's my scope? That music. Did you get the fuck? It's right there, game. Oh, you fucking... Ugh. Why even put this here? Oh, shit. There's an enforcer nearby. Well, no shit. I'm trying to get a lock on him, but you won't let me. Okay, so I guess that's the only way to go. So let's go ahead and go down the ladder. Or just take shitloads of fucking damage. Now, the funny thing is that your health, you can take damage, but if you, you know, get in a cover or something like that, or you stop taking that damage, you'll regain that health back. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy now. I should be close enough. That music. What? Alright, guess I gotta go get another one. Man, that was the easy one, too. How'd the other guy... There were, wait, there's three. How were there three guards? Excuse me, I don't think so. Oh, that dude has a shotgun. I'm losing all that shield, too. Oh, that fucking sucks. Damn it. Alright, looks like I gotta go for another one. I think I only need one, though. But I think I know where another one is. Even see me. Like, I don't get that shit. <laughs> oh man, it's so annoying. Try unlocking it with your octopus. Okay. Let's just do that. I was gonna shoot it, but. You wanna probe the lock with your octopus? It'll vibrate and flash when you get close to each pin's sweet spot. Open all the pins and you spring the lock. See, and it just pops the. Okay, hold on. I think there's an enforcer over there. No, that's not an enforcer. That's a regular ass dude. Wait, there's one in here. Come on. So I guess I need another one, right? You guessing? I didn't find him for. I think I just need one more, which I would have been done with this current part, but. So 
Assassins. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, they got falcons, I forgot. I should probably pick that shit up. No, I already got one. Cool. Uh, the weapons that you pick up during mission, you wind up keeping. Which is really good. Did I just fucking... Wow, that was quick. Come on, give me my damn shotgun back. Is there another enforcer up here? I hope not. That's not an enforcer. I was right on that call. There's only one enforcer per area. Okay. I don't need to do anything in here. There's just extra mooks to take out. What's that? Oh, just a shadow. Wow. Okay. Mechanical interface. Use your lock to push. I hope I don't make it this far and then fuck up the mission. Like, I'd be fucking mad. Cause usually I'd be done with this shit by now. There's no, no enforcer that way. Gotta be one more. Hold on. Alright, this damn thing. There he is. It's the last one. Civilians. Alright, so if you sneak up behind somebody, like in any game, you can knock them out. Objective's done. Now it's time to go ham and not kill any civilians. Alright, so pretty much these guys are decked out with submachine guns, fucking shotguns, you know, basic moot shit. Um, get out of here. What the hell? 
I think, wow, would this be the third first-person shooter that's on this channel? Third? I believe so. Uh, I really do like first-person shooters, but... Most of the campaigns to some first-person shooters are just not what I would consider to play... You know, I would not play through it. Like the Call of Duty ones, I wouldn't want to fucking sit through that. It's not fun for me to watch, and I definitely want to want to do it myself. Now, Halo, on the other hand, it, it's a different story. It's, it's better. Much better story, easy to digest. <laughs> Simple as hell. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to fucking blow your face off. Get your fucking gimp mask out of here. Gimp ass fucking dude. Oh, I thought he stood back up. I was like, no, the hell you didn't. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Okay. Sometimes, man. Yes, I am. Oh. Damn, that takes two fucking hits. Stay frosty, Joe. There's a cluster of auto guns protecting the road up to Killian's penthouse. Where? Data's on your debug. Oh, right there. Shit. Dude, I'm get tore up. Oh, I killed it, though. Alright, well, let's try and do this other support objective. Where's the other one? God damn! Fuck that shit. Throwing that shit down that hall. Three, two, one. That's two. that one. Okay, that's that one. That was three. Don't let anything through! Oh, come on. Damn. Alright. Where? That's it. Security off fire. Don't sweat it. I saved you the job. Ziegler? Yeah. I'm getting you out of here. Can you walk? I think so. How much is it going to take to leave him here? Say that again. This is a money gig for you, right? Whatever you're getting to rescue him, I'll double it for you to take a walk instead. Shut up, or I drop you like a bad conversation. Oh, uh, come on. What's it to you, old man? There's no such thing as good and bad anymore. Just business. Name your price. Let me think. Wait. You can't. He's trying to ransom me and my research off to- I told you I'm thinking about whether I should shoot you before Ziggler and I get out. Couldn't warn somebody that you were coming up, like and that's what happened. And I'm guessing those are the, are, those are the PP9s, because <laughs> uh, without the scopes and the silencers, which is pretty much the Falcon 2, but without the scopes and the silencers. You okay? Or Falcon. Sure. I got a fractured shoulder, a mission in pieces, and I think he just busted my head. Anyway. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and end this sit down, and I'll catch you guys next time. Till then.